Hi, my name is Surya Narayan Sreswar. I'm working with National Society for Earthquake Technology in Nepal, NSET, as Deputy Executive Director. This presentation will uh, highlight the introduction of Nepal, its location, its geology, geography, physiographic regions, earthquake hazard, demographics, and also introduce about the impacts of recent Gorkha earthquake of April 25. This is one of the 14 topics covered as part of the EERI briefing on Gorkha earthquake Nepal. Nepal lies in South Asia at the middle part of the long Himalayan region between China and India. The total land area of Nepal is 147,181 square kilometers and the length of the country is approximately 900 kilometers and the width ranges from 145 to 241 kilometers. Nepal is subdivided into five major physiographic regions, Tethian Himalayan belt in the north, then high Himalayas, lesser Himalayas, to Siwalik hills and Tarai plains in the south. Each physiographic region is separated to other by a geological fault system. Tethian and High Himalayan region is separated to Lesser Himalaya by main central thrust fault system. Lesser Himalaya and Sivalik hills are separated by main boundary thrust fault system. Sivalik hills and Terai are separated by Himalayan frontal fault system. There are several fault lines in these fault systems, these fault lines have been mapped during the seismic hazard mapping and risk assessment study done as part of the building code development project implemented during 1992 to 1994. The population of Nepal based on 2011 census is 26.5 million with average population growth rate of 1.35 percentage per year. The average population density is 181 persons per square kilometer with maximum density of 500 persons per square kilometer in Kathmandu Valley and few southern districts of Nepal. In terms of history of earthquakes in Nepal and the region, there were several larger and devastating earthquakes in the history. Devastating earthquakes in the recent history in Nepal are that of 1833 and 1934. The 1833 earthquake of 26 August 19, 1833 occurred somewhere very close to Kathmandu and the level of shaking produced in Kathmandu Valley was intensity uh, 9. The recent Gorkha earthquake occurred also close to Kathmandu Valley. The 1934 earthquake of January 15, 1934 of magnitude 8.3 occurred approximately 200 kilometers east from Kathmandu and produced intensity of 9 and 10 in Kathmandu Valley. There were several cases of liquefaction in Kathmandu Valley during 1934. In the present day also, Kathmandu uh, Valley possesses very high liquefaction potential, largely in near to the river areas. Several scientific studies also have shown high earthquake hazard and risk in Nepal. In fact, entire territory of Nepal is highly hazardous in terms of level of ground shaking. The high seismic hazard is reflected in the National Building Code of Nepal. Uh, level of hazard in the western part compared to the eastern part is slightly higher. 
However, the entire country poses very high hazard. This map is, shows the zoning factors, seismic zoning factors, uh, which is used for the calculation of loads for the design of earthquake resistant buildings. And this also shows relatively higher risk in the western part. However, again, the entire country poses high risk. The recent Gorkha earthquake of magnitude 7.8 of April 25, 2015 is one of the series of earthquakes in Nepal that followed thousands of aftershocks, some very strong ones. This shows the epicenters of main shock and several aftershocks, including the major aftershock of magnitude 7.3 on May 12 in the eastern part of Nepal, is from Kathmandu in Dolakha district. The earthquake and several aftershocks caused severe damages in several districts, largely in the central part of Nepal. There are 75 districts in total in Nepal, and out of 75 districts, 35, 31 districts are badly hit, and among them, 14 are crisis hit districts. As of May 21st, the casualty reported are 8,790 deaths, 22,300 injuries, and 8 million affected population. There are reports of casualties from India, China, and Bangladesh as well. Private buildings, public facilities, and infrastructures also are badly damaged in several districts. More than 6,000 government buildings have been damaged severely, more than 500,000 private houses completely damaged, and around 300,000 houses partially damaged. Likewise, moderate to heavy damage to other infrastructures also occurred. Extensive damage to red net networks in districts and villages also uh, caused by this earthquake, and several other facilities also damaged uh, moderately to heavily during this earthquake. Casualty and damage distribution is largely concentrated in few districts around Kathmandu Valley out of 14 districts. This shows the distribution of damage of private buildings in different districts and uh, many districts around Kafandu Valley, there are building damage of more than 50,000 in one district, largely around Kafandu Valley. There are also several government buildings damaged, and the government buildings also, the damage of government buildings also concentrated in few districts around the central location of Kathmandu. This summarizes the introduction about Nepal, its location, geography, geology, physiography, earthquake hazard, and the impact due to recent Gorkha earthquake of April 25 and associated aftershocks. Several literatures documents were referred during the field study uh, after the earthquake and also during the preparation of this presentation. More information about the earthquake and EERI study have been uploaded in EERI's virtual clearinghouse. Detailed report will be available in late summer of this year. I would like to thank the support of several organizations and individuals for making the study useful and successful. Thank you very much.